This episode of Techzilla is brought to you by the 2012 Ford Mustang. Robert's got a question, well, I would tailor made for Veronica. He writes, I'm eagerly waiting Swator, which Swator. I believe <laughs> Star Wars The Old Republic Correct. in a few weeks, but I'm in need of a new keyboard and mouse aimed at gaming. When I built my PC, I received a standard keyboard and mouse that I have not got around to changing, and well, it does the job for most single player games, Skyrim. There's a lot more uses for the keyboard in an MMO. Can you please recommend a non-wireless, I really hate having to change batteries and get them to sync up, keyboard and mouse that would be suitable for use in an MMO? Cheers, Robert in Dublin, Ireland. So I'm thinking like, Logitech G13, Sidebinder X4, Razer Black Widow, a classic 40 pound Alp switch keyboard that could have been found on the desktop of an IBM computer 20 years ago. What are you rolling with to get your mayhem and destruction on? Well, personally, I think Razer makes mm -hmm. great products um, and I love their mice too. But if you want the ultimate Swole Tour experience, check out the Razer Special Edition Star Wars The Old Republic gaming keyboard. This thing is pretty sweet looking. Um, there's tons and tons of programs programmable keys, macro buttons, and also this really neat trackpad for like media control. This is definitely an item for the fans and it's one of their most premium keyboards and it comes with a premium price. It's about 250 bucks. That's a lot of money. Yeah, for it's not shipping yet. Um, it's coming out on January 15th, but I think you can do pre-orders. It's got dynamic adaptive tactile keys for versatile skills management, built-in LCD track panel for new ways of game interaction, extreme anti-ghosting capability of up to 10 key press Basically, it's got a lot of, you know, the stuff that most gaming keyboards have, really, but it's, it's, it's for the but fans. With an LCD it's got some nice stuff. Programmable it's buttons and dancing weasels. Dancing weasels. So Can't beat the dancing weasels. Should you not want to invest $250 in this extraordinary piece of Star Wars dedicated technology? Well, they have a lot of other gaming keyboards, too. Mm -hmm. I mean, Razer has pretty much everything you could possibly That's want funny. for They've gaming got, equipment. The Black Widow is a, in Alps, like a mechanical switch keyboard. Yeah, the, the Black Razor. Widow's a good one. Um, the Black Widow Ultimate. Uh, the Anansi is actually probably, sorry, Time Machine cannot back up right now because it's not connected. Um, the Anansi <laughs> is probably one of their most well-known MMO-specific keyboards. Um, it's gotten some really great reviews and all everything's programmable as well. It's got a Mac layout available. Um, all of these have built-in software that you can use mm -hmm. to either switch to different game settings, um, like if you're playing Warcraft or if you're playing Rift or if you're playing, you know, Swart SWTOR, you can switch back and forth between those mm -hmm. those macros that you've set. Um, personally at home, I use uh, the Steel Series Merc, which um, they don't sell the old school Merc anymore, but you can get oh. the Merc Stealth. <laughs> I really like the left-handed controls here because I am a lefty. Uh, I know most people mouse right anyway, right. but um, something it's a lot easier for me to do all those um, have all those macro buttons over on that side and be able to use my you know my WASD controls like far over to the left. And um, I'm kind of addicted to this keyboard right now, and I'm scared that if I try any other gaming keyboard, I'm not going to be able to function properly. <laughs> like I won't be able to use something that doesn't have this layout. You're not ready for the Logitech G13? Um, actually, Logitech. Logitech has a lot of really good gaming keyboards. They're There's super a lot of popular. Really good keyboards, period. People love Logitech. Yeah, they've got a lot of really good premium stuff right now too. So that's the Deno. Uh, what was the one that you were showing? That was the uh, the G13 Advanced Game Board. Mm -hmm. um, it's about 80 bucks. It's got the LCD built in as well. Um, it's got macro recording too, which is a nice feature to have. They've got some great stuff, um, Logitech. I haven't spent a an extensive amount of time using mm -hmm. Logitech keyboards uh, for gaming personally, but Tons of people have recommended them to me over the years, and I would love to try actually the the uh, G510, the one that's here. Um, it's it's not too expensive right now either. It's only yeah, it's like 107 bucks, which is less than the uh, I think actually no, the Anansi is is 100 bucks. So this is a, a little more expensive than the Anansi, and but I think it's got some LCD. neat features. <laughs> it does have an LCD, and that LCD screen is like super customizable. You can have it show your iTunes stuff. You can have it show like your uh, group chat for work. Craft. Nice. It's super customizable. I like that a lot. Um, mice is another very, very personalized kind of thing. <laughs> um, gaming mice are a dime a dozen these days, right. it seems. Um, I use the it's Naga. It's got weight. So do all the others. I use the <laughs> Naga, which is, I have the wireless version of the Naga, and I don't love wireless either. Wireless mm -hmm. kind of makes me crazy because right when you're in the heat of the moment, your mouse dies. And you're like, that is a giant pain in my butt. I can't deal with the wireless mouse, but we'll say I want to steal the uh, the wireless solar keyboard, the Logitech uh, K750 off of Roger's 
desk. Nice. Yeah. There's some great Logitech mice as well. Um, Microsoft makes some good mice that people <laughs> use for gaming too. Um, it's, it's very interesting. It's very personal. People feel right. very strongly about the equipment they use for gaming. So if possible, even go out to like a Best Buy or something or your friend's house and test out their keyboard and mouse. See how it feels in your hand. Uh, the Naga has a lot of great buttons right. on the side for um, macros as well. So yeah, those are my recommendations. That's what I use at home. Um, but there's a lot out there, in short. <laughs> Try them all, find yes. the one you like best. Well, we've got more Texel coming up, but before we do that, it's time to thank one of our sponsors. Ford's back, sponsoring Texel again. We have been, well, driving the heck out of 2012 Mustang around town, around Northern California, and it turns heads no matter where we go. Last time around, we told you about the new Slacker radio integration with Sync's app link in the new Mustang. Another great app link integration that's been around for a while is Open Beak for Blackberry. Friends timeline. Hey everybody. Can you train the flood of random stuff to a jolly old joke? The Open Beak Twitter app is integrated to allow you to listen to inbound tweets over your car stereo. How cool is that? And stay updated while keeping your eyes on the road. Whether you're trying to listen to tunes or keep up with Twitter, Sync allows you to keep your eyes on the road and your hands up on the wheel. Thanks again to Ford and the 2012 Mustang for sponsoring Texilla today.